Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, Luter FM. I'm back with the So Show Save. Um, with the, the last episode, we basically um, we are now top of the league, and um, we've been we've literally won most of our games all season. Other than I think we've lost we've lost two games in the in the league all season. That's it. We're still in the cup as well, the Coupe de France. Um, some of our young players are just amazing. I don't, I don't know how um, we won't get promoted. I think it'll be safe to say we will get definitely promoted this year. And then next year, I don't know. I don't know whether the quality's there. Um, we just got to hope that some of these young players carry on performing <clears throat> and do better. Uh, hopefully not too many of them will get poached by bigger clubs. And uh, that's the real test is to see if we can keep them all. But we will try our best. Um, just wanted to say thank you as always for subscribing and um, watching the videos. Much appreciated. Um, and that's it really. I'm just just, just a little intro, and we'll get cracking. Um, so I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Thank you. Right here we go. So um, after Vaz broke the record, his record's now been broken. Unfortunately, by uh, a player called. Omar Kamara, who plays for uh, FC Ruin. Have a look at him. Looks pretty, actually, looks really good. 16 years old. Is he on loan? Oh, that's why. He's on loan from PSG. I thought, bloody hell, FC Ruin's a, a team to watch out for. Um, but yeah, so he beats Rubinho Vaz's record, which is a shame. He didn't keep it for long. Um, but we have got a new record for the club. Having scored at the age of 16 years and 251 days for Socho away at FC Madrilet in the Coupe de France, Emmanuel Kalutu has set a new Socho record for youngest goalscorer. Uh, Socho's previous youngest goalscorer was Robinho Vaz, who netted at the age of 16 years and 253 days away to USI Bessin Nord in the Coupe de France sixth round in October 2003. So, We've got another new goal scorer, youngest goal scorer ever, uh, DC Conger, future DC Conger international probably. Um, but yeah, we've got our first game of the episode coming up in a second against Nimes or Nims, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, let's play our strongest team. Um, so I think it's a pretty straightforward team here as usual. So yep, yeah, so let's get cracking. Hopefully we get another dominant win here. Currently neck and neck with Orleans for points. First highlight goes to us, free kick. Headed out, unfortunately. Now they're on the break. Ooh, we get it back though. Deho drives it across the wing, passes it here back across to Viltord. Oh, nearly. Costa with an ambitious shot there. But yeah, uh, neck and neck on points with games played against. Oh no, yeah, yeah. So uh, and Neil's uh, quite close up there as well. Oh, I thought we got that back. Oh, we did. There we go. Passing around nicely in the middle of midfield. Zol taking it across to the wing, passes it into Deho, cross it in just over by Kofi. Right, root uh, there in possession. Oh, we got it back. Beautiful pass there, Deo. We're all over him in this game. Oh my god, we just can't finish it off. Usually Kofi would finish that every time. Right, let's try focus. Let's give him to focus. Hopefully that'll help. Viltard with the free kick. <sighs> Nearly. Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I need to watch that again in a different angle. I had no idea what happened there. Um, hold on. No, wrong one. I need to press this one. Right, so we go behind the goal. There you go. Um, when it gives us a chance. There we go. Right, let's click on this. So Viltard with the free kick hits the... Ah, there we go. Hits the postal bar. Uh, was it director? 
Yeah, one nil anyway. That focus shout works with him. Oh, it was Zol I needed to uh, give a pick up the backside. Sol will be coming off in a minute if he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he's coming off. He's not taken on board my shout that I've done. So Fartar can come on. Montaigne's knackered, bless him. Oldest player on the in the team, probably at 32 years old. Elderly statesman with all these youngsters. All right, some enforced swaps due to injuries, and we can't take any more players off. As tempting as I am to put my goalkeeper on for Drummer, I don't think I'll do it. All right, let's get another goal. Let's, sh let's uh, shut this team down. Boris there with the over-the-top ball. Boris in possession again. Viltar back to Boris. They just want to keep giving the ball to Boris, don't they? Good bit of passing going on here. Drame with a beautiful through ball. Look at that. Roly. I've got a play called Roly. Right. We're yeah, we're three points clear of Orleans now. Oh, two points. They must have got a late equaliser. There you go. We'll take it. Two points clear. Right then. I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right. And we've now got um, Esso Cholette next game. Um, pretty much straightforward lineup, I think. Uh, we've got Hatterlet in gold instead of uh, Delete, or his name is. Um, Galvez is right back because Cost the cost is injured. Um, I think that's pretty. Oh, Pereira de Sars in midfield with Tete. Uh, but that's it, Fartar and Lacolo. I'm sorry, this has completely changed team. Let's start again. So we have a bit of a rotated team here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. Let's see how we get on. I think there must be a reason why he's, the assistant manager's rotated a bit. I don't, I don't think it's all because of injuries. But yeah, we'll see. We are three points clear of Orleans at the moment, but they haven't played their game yet. I don't think they're playing at the moment. No, nah. so they play tomorrow, probably. Uh, we just got to do our bit and hope that Orleans fail to win. Right, their goal kick is the first highlight. Oh, they could score here. Yep, they do. Not the best of starts. Neil, the technical Neil are only three points behind us, and they're playing. I wonder if they're playing Orleans. Maybe they're playing Orleans. Oh, Gonzo. Oh, hits the post. Ah, oh, offside. Anyway, All right. Come on. It's a very quiet game. Which concerns me a bit. I mean, look, we're literally being the better team when you look at the stats. Right, Fartar's coming off. Got Koto Koto on. Uh, Bastian, you're coming off. And then... Yep, yeah, there we go. And then what we'll do is push these 
further forward. Go attacking, and hopefully we'll hopefully we'll be. Uh, there you go. We're slightly improving already. Fire up. Let's try firing up. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, get it. Oof, that could have been awkward. Come on, we need to get an equaliser. We shouldn't lose to these. Very attacking. I'm literally throwing the kitchen sink at this point and we're not getting anywhere. Ugh, oh, that was disgraceful. Yeah, I don't blame you. Third loss of the season. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I think they just... I think maybe the the team was too rotated. I don't know. Maybe that was a balls up by the assistant manager. Maybe it was forced because we had injuries. I don't know. I know that the Costa was injured, but I probably wasn't paying attention to the inbox items. So anyway, back in the same. All right, we're back. Uh, just got the youth intake review. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Um, one, two, three. I don't know. One, two, three. Yeah, fight. Yeah, five, sorry. Five elite talents there. Goalkeeper, centre-back. Uh, there are a minimum of two centre-backs that look rather promising. So that's three, three players. Uh, four players, defensive midfielder. Um, five, and then six. So we've got six very, very, very talented young players in the youth, take, in, in the youth intake, hopefully. Um, but that won't be for a while yet. We are playing, uh, just let me just praise him quickly, sorry. We are in the uh, Coupe de France next next round, so we're just going to play that game. As always, I'm going to heavily rotate. Uh, Vaz is playing, Kota Kota is playing, Kaluta is playing, Pizarre is playing, Tete is playing, Patricio, uh, Mustachif. Rangdon makes his debut. I don't think I've heard of him before, so let's have a quick look at him. Looks decent enough for for uh, what we need him to be. Hopefully, some of these youngsters can carry on performing well. Only time will tell. I mean, we've had two shots already in the four minutes, so that gives me confidence we'll do well here. We're in the white kit. Which is really confusing because our home kits were yellow and blue. Anyway, we just hit the post. Tete Tete with the ball. Viltard. Kalutu hits the post. We hit the post twice in the space of one highlight there. Ridiculous. Four shots already. I feel like we're going to dominate in this game. Viltard. I don't feel like it's when. I think like it's. I don't feel like it's if. I feel like it's when. We just hit the bar then. We've hit the post twice in the bar in the first 10 minutes. Unbelievable. Right, throwing to us. Silver. Bizarre. Get in. Rubinho with another goal. Right, Silver with the over the top ball. Passing around nicely. Playing a patient approach here. Rangan. Taking his time. Cross to Silver. Silver passes it to Bazard. The one twos going on here. Great ball. Go on, Koto. Oh, look at that. Bizarre with a little bit of a little bit of class there. Beautiful shot. Oh, we've got another highlight straight away. Bizarre. Ooh. Tete nearly with the goal. Oh, sorry. All right, corner to us. Silver. Bizarre has it back, though. Beautiful over the top cross.
Yeah, offside. I knew it was offside as soon as all of our players put their arm up. Usually the dead giveaway. Leal Tard. I feel like we can put the goalkeeper under pressure here. We do. He miscalculates the goal, uh, the kick out. Good header there by Mwembe. Mwemba. Koto Koto Mwemba. Remember that name, everyone. I feel like we're going to absolutely destroy him this game. I feel like we're going to get another couple of goals at least. They haven't even had a shot yet. Very dominating win here. Hazard with the over the top cross again. Oh, headed out there. Hit the bar again. I feel like we're just having a game of play, playing crossbar than the uh, ball rules. There's <laughs> a little solid game while we're winning. See how many times we can hit the post and bar. Right, Silva. Passes inside to Rangon, who then gives it to Tete. Nice bit of passing exchanges going on in here. Hazard with the cross, over the top cross. Beautiful header. Every time. He's such a good, he's such a good crosser, Hazard. Let's have a look if he's crossing. Oh, he's only 11 crossing. He should be better than that. He's been brilliant today. Corner. Headed out. Right, I feel like we're just going to nick the ball off him again in a second. Hopefully. Oh, they actually had a shot. First shot. Headed out by us, and then we break on the counter attack. Patricio inside to Moemba. Moemba gives this to Caluto, gives it to Vaz. Vaz unfortunately loses the ball, but that's fine. We're still winning 4 0. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Nothing for us to worry about. Silver gives it to Vaz. Playing a patient approach here, just passing it around, wasting a bit of time, I think. Waiting for the perfect moment to shoot. Oh, hit the post again. So, I think we hit the bar twice and the post three times in that first half alone. Lazard has just been absolutely brilliant. One goal and three assists. And then Mwemba, uh, Koto Koto Mwemba has got two goals and Vaz has got one. Uh, that's good. In a bit, we'll make some substitutions. We'll give some of the other youngsters a bit of game time. Like Carzenti and Lu, Lu, uh, Lube, uh, Lubeo. Just wait a bit longer first. Tete. Tete's got it back. Patricio. Oh, there was a cock up there. Rubinho Baz with his second goal of the game. Making it very difficult for me to take him off now. So I don't want to I don't wanna uh, I'm gonna have to take one of either him or Kota Kota off. And they're not gonna be happy because they want to get their hat trick. Hopefully one of them will get a goal in a sec. Right, after this highlight, I'm gonna make some substitutions. Rangon. Playing out from the defence now. Silver. I think what we need to do is put no pressure now. Viltard. That's eight. Oh, Vazny got his hat trick then. Let's see what happens from this corner. Right, corner floated in. Yeah, it's headed out. We've still got possession there. Kalutu. Oh, got another corner. Oh, no, doesn't come to anything. Right. Substitution o'clocker time now. Um, 
Le Bay on for Vaz. Uh, Who else can we put on? What positions are these playing in? Uh, left back. And then midfielder. We'll take off build hard. And then we'll leave that. All right. Doing really well this game. The youngsters continue to impress me. I think our only problem is we're going to have too many bloody talented players. That's the problem. We really need to get like consistency going in selling our top players so then the youngsters can then replace them. But we don't want to do that too much too quickly because then we're going to have a, a very a very small squad that is not going to be ready. So we've just got to find that right balance. If we get decent offers, if we get decent offers for our top players, then we will move them on. Not that I want to though, but part of football. There you go, Pizard again. Scored a hat trick now. Pizard having the game of his life. Three assists and three goals. Look at that. He's got a hat trick and a hat trick. I've never seen a performance like that. I don't think I've never seen a player score three goals and get three assists. He is our Lionel Messi. I'm going to offer him a new contract, I think. Oh, I want to extend that. I want to make that a longer contract. Probably four years. Three years. Up your wage a bit. Uh, that one. There you go. He's happy. But yeah, that was quick. Sign a new contract. <laughs> right, sorry. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. All right, we're back. Um, Elon, uh, Ku, Ku, Kuda Jats. Kuda Jats. Elon Kuda Jats. Appearance at the age of 16 years and 204 days. The social away at um, FC um, Valor. No, sorry, Valdehon Varsel in the Coupe de France is a new team record. Socio's previous youngest player was uh, Ayrton Patricio. So we've got a new record for that. Uh, just quickly go through these. Playing Lille in the ninth round of the Coupe de France. So that'll be a big test for our young players. Uh, we've had a few injuries. Fontaine's been taken ill. And Zoll's out, so yeah. Maybe I'll give uh, Vaz some first team football in the league as well. Bizarre, there you go. I'm glad he's the assistant manager's decided to pick him. Um, nice to see he's been rewarded. Yep, so we've managed to sign. Kofi, uh, main striker, to a new deal for four years. Um, so we've got him nicely tucked away for now. Top of the league clash coming up now. Us versus Orleans. If we win this one, we'll be a few points ahead of them, hopefully. If they win this one, they take um, our place. But then we've also got FC uh, Martigues and New York chopping at the, uh, chopping at the bit. So if we draw and they win, they will be neck and neck with us on points. If we lose, then Orleans go top. So let's see how it goes. Um, Kofi looks, I think he's injured maybe. No, he's not injured. Maybe he just wanted to rest him. Um, anyway, right. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any major... Makalu on the right, Pizard on the left, I think, and then Kota Kota coming in with Le Collier up front. Uh, hopefully, this will be enough for us up front to get the job done. 
already had one of our strikers. Oh, God, here we go. Nakalu's knackered already. No, no, no. I'll ignore that for now. He's only taken a knock. It's nothing major. Galvez. Oh, nearly. All right, not much happening so far, just the one highlight. <clears throat> hmm. Very boring game for you neutrals to be watching here. We are now second. Nils overtook us in the league. All right, let's try and demand a bit more, see how we get on with that. I feel like because we've had a few injuries for the main players, I feel like that's why we're not doing as well. But right, let's see what happens from this highlight. Hazard pushes it forward, sprints across. Oh, gets tackled though. Bastion with the cross. Oh, goalkeeper fumbles it. We don't take advantage of that though. They're on the break now. Can Galvez get the ball off him? He can't. Oh no, oh, that's right. Oh, they still got possession there. Good clearance. Still got it though. That's alright, I'm alright with that. Right, we're in possession again. Bastion passes it back to Diagne. Neil's hold. Playing it nice and out. Uh, Bulama. Get in. Muemba with his fifth goal of the season. Tell you what, we're very well blessed in, in attacking players in this squad. <clears throat> First team players and our youth players coming through. We're very lucky. Right, who am I taking off then? Uh, I'll take you off because you're knackered, Viltor. I'll put on you. Take you off, Lacoya, because you've not been playing very well. Actually, cards. Ah, oh, well, I'll just leave it as that for now. Will they get an equaliser here? Oh, luckily they don't. They are trying to make it as difficult as possible for us, so uh, Pazard's knackered, so I'm going to have to put you on, even though you're not a, a winger. Take you off, put you on. Oh, great. Uh, there you go. <laughs> We've got no choice. It is a bit annoying that you only have five substitutions. Right. Oh no. Here we go. You know what's coming up, don't you? No? Still, until this highlight finishes, I'm not getting my hopes up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Now we can relax. Corner to us. Galvez. Get in, Boris. What a header. What a beautiful man, Boris. He's the only Boris I like. There we go. Four points clear now. Excellent. Right, back in a minute with the next game. Right, we're back. Um, just wait for this to load up. So I forwarded it to the 1st of January and then I just... Um, kept pressing continue from the first jump because I didn't want any of these players to be sold on uh, without me knowing. So um, we decided to get rid of Kelvin, uh, sorry, Kevin Zoll. Um, I just don't think he is good enough. I feel like the other players here are better. So he's going to send NTN. Um, we have got, I think we've got like a yeah, percentage. We've got 
of the next deal, profit of the next deal. So if he does well at Cententien, we might make some money on him. And we're also getting rid of him. There's a few other players that are out of contract that we're trying to shift as well. Um, we'll see how it goes. But we are playing Lille now in the French Cup, the Coupe de France. Sorry, the Coupe de France, not the French Cup. So as always, we've got a yeah, rotated team. Um, it's decided to pick Kofi still uh, and Dabo. So there probably will be a few of our senior players in here like Fontaine um, and Patelep. There's still some of the youngsters in there like Vaz, um, Tete, Accra, uh, uh, Kujat, Mustafi, Galvez. So, and there's probably some on the subs bench as well, so it'll be all right. Like I, I don't expect us to beat Lil. But it'll be a nice test for our youngsters coming through. See, one nil already. <laughs> Four, five minutes played. All right, I tried encouraging the players, see if that helps. Good defensive awareness there by Galvez, but we lose the ball, unfortunately. Good save, I think. Oh, was that wide? Oh, it might have been wide. <clears throat> All right, we've had zero shots so far. Lil, as, as you expected, are dominating us. Good cross. Oh, I thought that was going to go in then. I thought that was set up on a silver plate for him. <sighs> Encouraging though. We're coming into the game a bit now as the uh, first half finishes. So you never know. You watch now, a little score this now. Completely ruin any enthusiasm I have for this game. Good save. Right, let's just give these a praise. Uh, demand more from you. Great. Right, we'll make some subs in a bit, I think. Deo is not playing very well at all. Galvez is playing really well. On, keep going. You got the ball back, you're doing well. Tete. Right, there we go. Galvez. Get in. 1 1. That was unexpected. Great assist by Galvez. Man of the match for us so far, Galvez. Right, Deo, you're coming off. Uh, Lacoya, maybe? No. Put him on. Uh, take him off. We'll put Lacoya on for you. Right, we'll leave the rest for now. You never know, an upset might be on the cards here. Lille probably were, were expecting to have an easy victory here, and they have been the better team. But they've underestimated us on the break. And even if they win, at least we can, at least we can see that we are able to score against some of the big teams in France. So that we've got to take the positives here, even if we don't win this game. Good save. Right, uh, take Mustafi off if, as he's on a yellow card. Right, that noise is Baxter, my little dog, bless him, he's having a little doggy dream.
good. 1-1. One, one. You never know. We might get a replay on their ground. That might be a good little money earner for us. Alright, come on. Don't cock up here. Thank God for you. Thank God for our goalkeeper. All right, let's see how we get on now. We've got, we've still got plenty of time for them to win this game. They look the more likely to win, but you never know. We might be able to sneak a shot in. Yeah, no. I was deluded. I was deluded for a split second. I thought we might have had a chance. Our XG's been good though. Uh, one point four zero from uh, three shots. Aren't taking more players off, so. Oh well, it's a nice little journey for them. Good defensive play there. Oh no, not so much that one there. Uh, and that's that then, everyone. Oh well, right. I think the only thing to do now is just push everyone forward and hope we get a goal on the break. You never know. Oh. <laughs> I wish we thinking there. I thought we might have scored. Might have got a goal there. Yeah, Lil just going to get another goal there by the looks of it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, we did well. We got it 1-1 up until the uh, 67th minute. So we did all right. We can, we, we can still pat ourselves on the back. It was a decent performance by some more than others, like Galvez. Um, but yeah, right. Uh, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, thank you as always for following. I'm, uh, really enjoying this save and seeing how some of the youngsters are doing. So hopefully the rest of the season will go well and we'll have our youth intake at some point. So that'll be exciting as well. Um, if you haven't already um, sent me, um, if you haven't already subscribed, can you please subscribe? It does make a big difference. And enjoy the rest of your day. All the best. Bye.